Hamjambo, uh, jina langu ni Abdul Karim Karibuni katika darasa hili la leo. Uh, katika katika darasa hili tutajifunza mazungumzo uh, roda na dereva, roda and the driver. This is the continuation of the uh, is the part two of the previous lesson, conversation lesson where we talked about uh, asking for help. Rhoda was asking for direction from, uh, I think it was Zawadi. Yes. Um, now today, Rhoda is talking to a uh, driver. He was, she, she was directed to the driver, uh, to the Matatu station. Uh, now she's here with the driver. Okay, let's see how the conversation will be. The first I will read uh, this Swahili conversation and I'll also translate to you people in English. The next I will read just Swahili only. And from there, uh, we will talk about some of the uses of the words that we just encountered in this lesson. So without wasting time, let's get started. But before we get started, if you are new on this channel, click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any lesson that I will upload on this channel. Okay, okay, so we can... We can get started here. Kiswahili, mm. conversation. Roda and the driver. Roda. Mambo vipi? Ninataka kwenda kwenye makumbusho. Nauli ningapi? Mambo vipi? Ninataka kwenda kwenye makumbusho. Nauli ningapi? Mambo vipi? Hi, hello, how are the things? Ninataka kwenda kwenye makumbusho. I want to go to the museum. Nauli ningapi? How much is the fare? How much is the fare? Dereva. Mambo poa. Nauli ni shilingi hamsini. Mambo poa. Nauli ni shilingi hamsini. Things are good. Uh, the fare is 50 shillings. So this mambo vipi? Uh, it's uh, it's informal greeting. When you go, it's a bus station. It's a, it's a, it's a matatu station. A lot of noise. There is a lot. Any things are very very. Uh, things are not formal there. So instead of saying hujambo hujambo, don't say hujambo there. Say mambo vipi. Use the informal greeting. Mambo vipi, or just say jambo, jambo. Okay. Uh, ninataka kwenda kwenye makumbusho okay. uh, Nauli is the money that you pay for transportation When you want to go somewhere You just say nauli You, you pay nauli uh, Now here Roda enters the matatu Roda enters the matatu Roda enters the matatu uh, Roda Dereva Tunaweza kwenda sasa Dereva, tunaweza kwenda sasa? Uh, driver, can we go now? Driver, can we go now? Tunaweza kwenda sasa? Dereva, hapana dada. Hapana dada. Matatu bado hejaja. Hapana dada. Hapana dada. Matatu bado ahejajea. No, sister. Matatu is not yet full. It's not yet full. Roda. Nina mkutano baada ya dakika thelathini. Sitaki kuchelewa. Nina mkutano baada ya dakika thelathini. Sitaki kuchelewa. I have a meeting uh, after 30 minutes. Sitaki kuchelewa. I don't want to be late. The driver turns on the engine and takes off. Roda. Unaweza kufunga dirisha tafadhali? Unaweza kufunga dirisha tafadhali? Kuna baridikali sana. Unaweza kufunga dirisha tafadhali? Can you please, uh, can you close the window please? Kuna baridikali. There is a lot of coal. It's extremely cold in this case. Okay, the driver raises uh, raises the windscreen and um, uh, the the window screen, uh, window window screen, and leaves a small face open. Driver, 
hivi iko sawa is this way okay roda ndio asante yes thank you dereva uh dereva says um uh uh ndio asante okay uh ndio yes thank you the driver turns on the radio uh you know in matatu there is actually radio uh music it's very very loud roda driver 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 naam roda unaweza kupunguza sauti ya radio tafadhali Unaweza kupunguza sauti ya redio tafadhali? Can you reduce the vo volume of the radio please? Just sauti is a voice or sound, but in this case we translate it as volume. Unaweza kupunguza sauti ya redio tafadhali? Can you reduce the volume of the radio please? The driver turns off the radio and asks sarcastically, uh hiyo iko sawa? Hiyo iko sawa? Is that okay? Hiyo iko sawa? Is that okay? Uh, Roda, ndio. Asante. Yes. Thank you. Now, let's read again uh, without translation and you see how much you understood. We start here. Um, conversation. Mazungumzo. Dereva na Roda na Dereva. Roda. Mambo vipi? Ninataka kwenda kwenye makumbusho. Nauli ni ngapi? Dereva. Mambo poa. Nauli ni shilingi hamsini. Roda. Dereva. Uh, Roda enters the matatu. Roda. Dereva. Tunaweza kwenda sasa? Dereva. Hapana dada. Matatu bado haijaja. Roda. Nina mkutano baada ya dakika 30. Sitaki kuchelewa. Sitaki kuchelewa. The driver turns on the engine and takes off. Roda. Unaweza kufunga dirisha tafadhali? Unaweza kufunga dirisha tafadhali? Kuna baridi kali sana. The driver raises the window, uh, raises the window screen and leaves a small space above open. Hivi iko sawa? Hivi iko sawa? Roda. Ndio. Asante. The driver turns on the radio. Dereva. Dereva. Naam. Unaweza kupunguza sauti ya redio tafadhali? Unaweza kupunguza sauti ya redio tafadhali? The driver turns off the radio and asks sarcastically. Hiyo iko sawa? Hiyo iko sawa? Roda. Ndio. Asante. Uh, how much did you understand uh, this conversation? So if you understood, it's very good. If you really understood uh, very well, you can repeat the video. You can rewind the video so that you can uh, you can um, you can you can understand. Okay, now let's let's talk about uh, matumizi ya maneno uh, maneno uh, some of the words that we encountered here. Okay, the, the first word we encountered here is the word samahani. And not the first word, but just one of the word is samahani. We use this word samahani when you are asking for something, you start with this samahani. If you want help, you start with the word samahani and you, you ask what you want to ask for. Because samahani, it catches the attention of the person that you want to ask. Like if someone is sitting there and uh, I say Samahani, the person will concentrate to me. So apart from just being, excuse me, uh, it's also, it grabs his attention and uh, it's polite actually. So you can say Samahani. Let's ask something. 
uh, samahani unaweza kunisaidia excuse me can you help me samahani uh, samahani unaweza kunisaidia excuse me can you help me okay uh, another sentence you can say uh, samahani unaweza kupungu, kufunga dirisha excuse me can you close the window excuse me can you close the window samahani unaweza kufunga dirisha so if you want me to teach me so if you want me to teach you swahili uh, you can say samahani unaweza kunifundisha kiswahili samahani unaweza kunifundisha kiswahili okay uh, so we have here samahani unaweza kunifundisha okay another use for this word samahani uh, this word samahani uh, is used when you are asking maybe you are apologizing you are apologizing something you can say samahani uh, you can say this samahani nitachelewa kidogo samahani nitachelewa kidogo sorry it's like sorry i will be a little bit late samahani nitachelewa kidogo so you say the word samahani okay samahani this word here samahani so just two uses uh, one to like excuse me the second use is like sorry also you can use the word pole to mean sorry pole the word is pole 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 sorry uh, another word that we encountered in this uh, lesson here is the word unaweza. Unaweza. Unaweza uh, is can you? Unaweza. Uh, if it's a question, unaweza, can you? Uh, unaweza, just normal. You can. Unaweza. If it's me, mimi ninaweza. And I explained this in the, in the previous video. Uh, you can just go and check how you can form questions using. Uh, Swahili intonation or using the word J. This one, unaweza, you can. J, unaweza, can you? Or just say, unaweza. It also means, can you? Unaweza. Unaweza kufungua mlango tafadhali. Can you open the door, please? Unaweza. Unaweza. Kufungua mlango tafadhali. Can you open the door, please? Unaweza kufungua mlango tafadhali. Yeah, uh, you can say samahani, unaweza kufungua mlango tafadhali. Also, you can just mix this tafadhali and samahani, and just okay. And we have the word tafadhali. Tafadhali also means please. Tafadhali means please. Tafadhali. Yeah, please. Tafadhali. Nisamehe tafadhali. Forgive me, please. Nisamehe tafadhali. Niruhusu tafadhali. Allow me, please. Niruhusu. Allow me. Niruhusu tafadhali. Allow me, please. Niruhusu tafadhali. Okay. Another words, uh, okay, other word that we encountered in this lesson are the words uh, kaka. We also have dada. Yeah, kaka means brother. It's brother. Dada is a sister. Dada. Uh, you can also call this person someone who is not your real brother. Uh, just, uh, it's, a, it's a boy, it's a male. Uh, you just uh, say kaka. If you don't know the name, you just say kaka, kaka, kaka. Okay, kaka. Just a moment here. Kaka. 
Okay, kaka. Then if it's uh, a girl, we say dada. Dada. If it's a girl. Dada is a sister. It can be your real sister or just a normal girl. You say dada, if you don't know the name. So like dada, unaweza kunisaidia? Sister, can you help me? Okay, this one. Uh, which other words we encountered here? Uh, this driver said naam. Naam. Naam, this word, uh, naam is used to, as a response, you want to say, to say, uh, to respond when someone is uh, ask, calling you, you respond by saying naam. If, for instance, your name is Maria and I call you Maria, you say naam. Though the word has origin in Arabic language, in Arabic, I think uh, they use naam if it's a male and uh, labik if it's a female. But in Swahili, we don't have that rule. We just say nam or we just say labik, you know? Um, labik, labik, some, someone say, ah, write labik, 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 labik. But I'm not sure about this rule in Arabic, but I was somehow taught uh, this rule uh, in Arabic. It's if it's a lady, uh, she responds labik. If it's a man, responds nam. But in Swahili, just say any of them, labik or nam. Okay, uh, another part, another, which other word, asante. When someone helps you, it's polite actually to say asante. Thank you, asante. You can say asante or you can add the word asante sana. So you say asante sana, it's one phrase. Asante, asante sana. It means thank you very much, asante sana, one phrase, okay? And uh, we have here Kali. Kali here, this word is extreme, you know, extreme, uh, very, very uh, harsh. So it's used uh, differently depending on the topic. If it's Baridi, you can say Baridi Kali means extreme cold. So this person, Roda, mixed Kali and Sana. Now, Kali is also extreme. Sana is very, so just imagine the kind of cold that uh, this uh, Roda was feeling. Baridi Kali extreme cold, baridi sana, extreme cold, baridi kali sana, oh my God, I, I, I pity her. Ah. Okay, okay, what else? Um, okay, okay, uh, we have this. Okay, if there is any other word that you want me to explain, just write in the comment section below and I will explain to you so that you can understand. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can be able to learn more Swahili. Uh, also, don't forget to leave the comment. Kwaheri, tutakutana, badai.